It was March 8, 2014. Malaysian Airlines flight MH370, a Boeing 777, takes off from Kuala Lumpur on its way to Beijing, China. On board are 239 people, each with stories, dreams and loved ones waiting at the other end. But somewhere along that journey, the plane vanishes, just disappears without a trace. The official narrative claims that the plane simply crashed into the southern Indian Ocean, but many believe there is so much more to this story. The official narrative doesn't answer many questions that are simply too valid to ignore. With the highly sophisticated surveillance technologies we have today, capable of monitoring every corner of our planet, the idea of a plane going missing seems almost impossible. The US, China, Russia and other global powers possess incredibly sophisticated surveillance systems. Technologies like the United States space-based infrared system can track everything from the movements of warships to the launch of missiles, giving governments a nearly omnipresent view of our world both in the skies and in the deep seas. In 2023, when the Titan submersible imploded in the Atlantic Ocean, the US military knew almost immediately through their sound surveillance system, SOSUS. They heard the implosion, they pinpointed the exact location of this small submersible vessel beneath miles of ocean water. Yet, despite these incredible technologies, Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 carrying 239 people, disappeared without any information. How is it possible that such a large aircraft vanished without a trace, seemingly undetected by any of these surveillance networks? Is there more to the story? Is it plausible that with this vast network of surveillance systems capable of detecting even the smallest details, with the level of precision to capture images of objects as small as a few centimeters on the ground, a commercial airliner could simply disappear without a trace? Or is there something more to the story, something kept hidden from us? What could have happened to MH370? In this video, I will present three theories. These theories have recently gained wide attention, discussed by individuals like Ashton Forbes, an independent researcher and analyst who has dedicated extensive time to investigation focused on the MH370 incident as a possible explanation behind its mysterious disappearance. So you've got all this information that's just never made publicly available. And it should beg the question for people like, what is going on here? The biggest thing though is, what is the US government hiding? And then we have this constellation of satellites constantly scanning the entire globe. And they're beaming that information to ground-based computers, real-time coverage of the entire planet. And you're telling me that a Boeing 777, this plane is the size of a city block, holds 300 people, crashed somewhere in the ocean, then didn't leave a debris field that we couldn't see on a satellite? Or the first theory revolves around an infamous video, the one that surfaced years later, showing what looks like a plane, allegedly MH370, being followed by three glowing orbs. The video appears to show these orbs moving in perfect synchronization with the plane before it disappears in a flash. It's almost too strange to believe, but the synchronization of the orbs with the plane and their precise movements make the footage look surprisingly convincing. Many experts claim to have analyzed the video and found no clear signs of tampering, adding to its credibility. Some people believe these orbs represent advanced, possibly military-grade technology, that can manipulate gravity or space-time itself. They were not just randomly floating near the plane, they seemed to move with purpose, as if they were in complete control of what was happening. Could these orbs have been some sort of advanced drones or experimental technology? Some speculate that they could be plasma-based devices, something out of science fiction that somehow found its way into our reality. What if these orbs were used to interfere with the aircraft's systems, jamming communications and making it disappear from every radar and tracking system? The implications of this are staggering. Technology that can essentially erase an airliner from existence without a trace. The coordination and precision shown by these orbs suggest an advanced level of control, something far beyond our conventional understanding of drones or military technology. There are theories suggesting that this was a covert military operation possibly orchestrated by a powerful entity with motives we may never fully understand. Until more evidence comes to light, we are left wondering, did forces with unimaginable technology play a role in making this plane disappear?
The second possibility is far less mysterious, but no less alarming, a lithium ion battery fire. According to reports, 200 kilograms of lithium ion batteries were on board MH370, the same types of batteries that power our phones, laptops, and electric vehicles. These batteries are notorious for their flammability, and if they are damaged or overheated, they can cause catastrophic fires. In fact, there are claims that the package containing these batteries might have even escaped proper security screening at the airport, raising serious questions about their condition. What if a fire broke out in the cargo hold, spreading quickly and incapacitating the crew and passengers? A fire involving lithium-ion batteries could easily become uncontrollable, releasing toxic fumes and overwhelming the plane's systems. It's a terrifying scenario. Now you might wonder, why would the governments of the world want to hide this story if it was just an accident? Here's where it gets murky. If MH370 went down because of a lithium-ion battery fire, it would highlight a glaring failure in aviation safety protocols, something neither the airline industry nor government regulators would want to admit. Imagine the implications. Massive lawsuits from the families of the 239 passengers, regulatory backlash and a complete loss of trust in aviation safety. The industry could face billions in compensation payments, along with the damage to its reputation. The Malaysian government, along with other stakeholders, would have every reason to keep this story under wraps to avoid the legal and financial fallout. It's possible that, in the chaos of the moment, those responsible for flight safety simply failed to follow proper procedures. The batteries might not have been adequately packed or screened, and a disaster might have been imminent from the start. But instead of admitting these failures, the easier path might have been to bury the truth hoping that the mystery would simply fade into history. After all, the alternative, a public admission of negligence, would come with enormous consequences. The third possibility goes deep into conspiracy territory, but it's compelling nonetheless. The presence of 20 Freescale Semiconductor employees on board. Freescale Semiconductor, a company heavily involved in advanced microchip technology and defense contracts, had some of its brightest engineers and experts on this flight. These 20 employees were not just any travelers. They were specialists, holding valuable knowledge related to the development of microchips, semiconductors, and advanced defense-related technologies. These employees included 12 Malaysians and 8 Chinese nationals heading to Beijing for what was believed to be a significant business trip. They were likely traveling to collaborate on technological advancements or projects that required their expertise. The knowledge they carried with them was incredibly valuable, cutting-edge semiconductor technologies that could have applications in both civilian and military sectors. Now, here's where it gets interesting. What if MH370 was targeted specifically because of these 20 employees? The semiconductor technology they were working on could have had enormous strategic value. It is alleged that the U.S. government might have been involved as they did not want this technology to reach China. If this information fell into the hands of competitors or rival nations, it could have shifted the balance of technological power, potentially giving China an edge in areas like defense or communications. The disappearance of MH370 along with these employees could have been orchestrated to prevent this knowledge from falling into the wrong hands. By ensuring that these individuals and their expertise never reached Beijing, those responsible might have aimed to protect their own technological dominance or prevent a significant technological leap by a competitor. The mysterious orbs we discussed earlier could have been part of an operation to either teleport the plane or make it go dark, effectively invisible to all monitoring systems, until it reached Diego Garcia, a US military base in the Indian Ocean. This theory suggests that the orbs played a crucial role in ensuring that these individuals and whatever knowledge they carried did not reach their intended destination. We know that global powers fiercely guard their technological secrets, and sometimes drastic measures are taken to prevent advanced technologies from falling into the wrong hands. Could the disappearance of MH370 have been a deliberate act by the US government or other powerful interests to seize control of the technology or intellectual property on board? The idea is chilling, but it cannot be dismissed given the secrecy and competition to have a global dominance over technology and military advancements. Three possibilities, three strange unsettling theories that paint a picture of a world where not everything is as it seems. 
where powerful technologies, hidden motives, and even mysterious glowing orbs might be responsible for one of the greatest aviation mysteries of our time. So what really happened to MH370? The answer could be one of these three possibilities, or perhaps something we haven't even imagined yet. One thing is clear, flight MH370 didn't just vanish. It was swallowed by something bigger, something we might not fully understand. And until we do, the questions will keep coming because this story is far from over.